Hello and welcome to ETV Bharat viewers. Today we have with us a very special guest. He is the first Indian to win the Formula 2 championship and has been on the top spot in the race. Meet Jehan Daruwala, a young, boisterous and inspiring sports personality. Uh, winning an F2 race was huge. Um, how your parents and friends reacted on your victory. Has anything changed for you now? Uh, yeah, obviously my parents and my friends are very proud of what I achieved. Uh, you know, personally, nothing too much has changed uh, for me. I set myself high targets anyway. So, uh, you know, I want to be willing races, want to be on the podium. Uh, so, you know, for me, it was just uh, about belief that I'm able to do it. And, uh, you know, uh, obviously representing India and hearing the national anthem gave me a lot of pride uh, for myself and everyone who's supporting me. Yeah, actually, the talking point of that race was winning that race with Mick Schumacher chasing you throughout the race. Uh, how confident were you uh, of keeping him behind you? Also, tell us what was going in your mind while keeping ahead. Uh, yeah, the race I won, he was actually not behind me. It was the, the one where I came in third the week before where I was defending uh, from him. <laughs> uh, that race, uh, yeah, he had fresher tires than me, so I knew that uh, it was going to be really difficult at the end. Uh, but I made it as hard as possible. I defended uh, super hard and, uh, you know, uh, he struggled to get by me. So, at the end, uh, my defense paid off and I was very happy. Okay. So, you are 22 and you must have started very early. Uh, our readers would uh, like to know how it all started. Take us through your journey. Oh, yeah. I started when I was uh, 10 years old, uh, just in Mumbai. Uh, I was driving for a team called uh, Rayo Racing, who's uh, run by Rayoman Banerjee. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I started uh, racing in India in the National Karting Championship here. And uh, I did a couple of years in India, a couple of years in Asia. And then, uh, you know, my, my career kind of kicked off after the one billion hunt, which was held by Sahara Force India at the time. Uh, I was uh, one of the top three uh, finalists in that. And, uh, you know, that's how uh, I went to Europe and uh, went to England to study. And uh, my career shot off from there. Great. So, um, as coronavirus put a halt on F2 and other sporting activities, do you think more races would have done in like better in terms of performance? Uh, we still got through our whole uh, season uh, quite comfortably in the end. So, you know, uh, from our side, there was not too much uh, trouble in terms of uh, driving itself. Obviously, we had to be in bubbles the whole year and, uh, you know, kind of isolate most of the season. So, only that part was a bit difficult. So, how difficult it is for you to be in the bubble and then prepare for the race? Yeah, I think the main thing was, uh, you know, not having my family for the races was, uh, yeah, different to normal. They're always there at all my races and, uh, yeah, this year they couldn't really come. So, yeah, that bit was quite hard. But apart from that, uh, you know, staying in London and isolating by myself and uh, stuff like that wasn't too much of a problem for me. Uh, I didn't really mind it. And uh, so, in that terms, it was... Okay, so... F3, you have done incredibly well and uh, and now F2 happened. Eyes on F1 uh, now must be in 2021? Yeah, uh, obviously I'm going to be in F2 again this year. Uh, and uh, if the year goes well, hopefully uh, by next year I'll be driving in Formula 1. Great. So uh, Red Bull is shuffling around with their second seat a lot. Uh, Alpha Tori 2 shuffles their drivers around. Do you think with a year of experience behind you and converting that into a big season in F2 might get you that call in F1? Yeah, I think uh, it's very much possible. I think uh, I have to just deliver all I can on track or, you know, perform at my highest level. And I'm sure if I, I do the best I do and uh, fight for with podiums this season, then uh, I have a big shout for a Formula 1 seat. Okay, so since you are with Carlin at the moment, uh, what are your upcoming plans with the team? Yeah, nothing is uh, completely announced yet for my uh, this year's season, but uh, you know, hopefully if things go to plan, yeah, I will uh, be with them. But uh, yeah, like I said, nothing is fully announced. But uh, yeah, my focus is to just uh, uh, work on what uh, mistakes I did last year and keep improving and uh, you know, start the year like I finished this. Okay. So, you're the first Indian to win MSA Super British Karting, first to reach the podium in CIK FIA World Championship. Uh, you have won Grand Prix in New Zealand and, of course, of course, like F3 and F2 championships. Which of these would you rate as the toughest and your favorite? Uh, yeah, I think my last win would be my favorite. You know, it was not an easy victory at all. I fell under third after the start and... Uh, 
you know it was a tough battle all the way through the race uh, fighting for the lead with uh, with Daniel Dickham and uh, you know it was a hard fought race and uh, you know i had to work really hard to win so in the end the satisfaction was a lot okay so what do you think of 24 hour lee mans of the car rally do you see yourself participating in them in future uh for now they're not on my on my radar you know i'm just focusing on doing what i can to go to formula 1 and uh, you know maybe in the future i might uh, think about doing the 24 hour race <laughs> so uh, tell us how you prepare for a competition does virtual gaming helps you in any way or and how did you prepare during the covid induced lockdown yeah so uh, even though we were in a lockdown we were allowed to go out to work so i could visit the car and factory and also the red bull factory uh, you know we go through all our data our plans for the weekend at carlin and uh, do some simulator there and then uh, we also do simulator at red bull to to prepare uh, for the, for the, for the coming races it's mm-hmm. harder than it was only uh, because of the pandemic this year but uh, we still got to do everything possible to prepare well for the season okay so is there any driver you take your inspiration from uh fernando alonso has always been uh, my driving inspiration since i was young so yeah i really love uh, the way he drives and always got the maximum out of any car so what's your ultimate dream Uh, my ultimate dream is to represent India in Formula One and uh, obviously become a world champion in Formula One. So, uh, my goal is to just work hard and uh, you know slowly improve so I can achieve that goal of being a Formula One. Okay, so thank you so much. That's all for the interview thing.